Mm, look up at the night sky. Every star, every galaxy, every shimmering nebula you can see, it's all just a tiny fraction of what's truly out there. Everything we know, from the dust under our feet to the most distant quasars, is part of what we call ordinary or baryonic matter. But this familiar stuff, the material that makes up you, me, and the planets, accounts for only about 5% of the total mass and energy of the universe. The rest is a profound cosmic mystery, an invisible presence that shapes the cosmos on the grandest scales. We are living in a universe that is mostly unseen, a place dominated by substances we cannot touch or directly observe. It's a ghost story written in the fabric of space-time itself. The dominant player in this invisible drama is called Dark Matter. It makes up an astounding 27% of the universe's total energy budget, which means there's more than five times as much dark matter as there is normal matter. Imagine building a city where for every single brick you can see, there are five more invisible bricks holding the structure together. That's our universe. This invisible substance doesn't shine, it doesn't reflect light, and it doesn't emit any form of electromagnetic radiation we can detect. It's a cosmic phantom, passing through us, through the Earth, and through solid walls as if they weren't even there. Its presence is felt only through its immense gravitational pull. This gravitational influence is not subtle, it is the architect of the cosmos as we know it. Without dark matter galaxies would fly apart. The beautiful spiral arms of the Milky Way would have long ago unraveled and flung their stars into the empty void of intergalactic space. Clusters of galaxies, those magnificent celestial cities, would never have formed in the first place. Dark matter provides the unseen scaffolding, the gravitational glue that allowed the universe to clump together and form the large-scale structures we observe today. It is the silent, invisible force that has guided cosmic evolution from the very beginning, and yet its true nature remains one of the greatest unsolved puzzles in all of science. So, what is this stuff? For decades we've been on a quest to identify it, to give this cosmic ghost a name and a face. The search has led us down many paths, some promising, others leading to dead ends. It has forced us to reconsider our most fundamental ideas about the universe and its origins. The story of dark matter is not just about a missing ingredient in the cosmic recipe. It's a story about our own limitations and our relentless drive to pull back the curtain on reality. Understanding dark matter means understanding the very foundation of our existence, and perhaps even catching a glimpse of what happened before our universe was born. The first hint that the universe was hiding something from us came not from a powerful modern telescope, but from the meticulous observations of an astronomer in the 1930s. A brilliant and often overlooked scientist named Fritz Zwicky was studying the Coma Cluster, a massive congregation of over a thousand galaxies. He carefully measured how fast these galaxies were moving. To his astonishment, he found that they were zipping around far too quickly. The combined gravity of all the visible stars, gas, and dust in the cluster simply wasn't strong enough to keep these speeding galaxies from flying off into space. It was as if an unseen hand was holding the entire cluster together. Zwicky proposed that there must be some form of Dunkel Materi, or dark matter, providing the extra gravitational pull needed to keep the cluster intact. His calculations suggested that there had to be hundreds of times more of this invisible matter than the luminous matter he could see. At the time, his idea was so radical that it was largely dismissed by the scientific community. The notion of a universe dominated by an invisible substance seemed too outlandish, too speculative. For decades, Zwicky's groundbreaking observation remained little more than a curious anomaly, a footnote in the annals of astronomy. It was a whisper of a much deeper truth that the universe was not yet ready to reveal. Decades later, in the 1970s, the mystery deepened, Astronomer Vera Rubin, while studying the rotation of individual galaxies like our own neighbor Andromeda, uncovered the same puzzle on a different scale. According to our understanding of gravity, stars farther from the galactic center should orbit more slowly, just as the outer planets in our solar system move slower than the inner ones. But that's not what Rubin found. Instead, she observed that the stars in the outer regions of galaxies were moving just as fast as the stars closer to the center. This flat rotation curve was inexplicable unless there was a massive invisible halo of matter surrounding the entire galaxy, exerting its gravitational influence. Rubin's work provided undeniable evidence that Zwicky's Dunkel Materi was real, and it was everywhere. 
Her precise measurements transform the concept of dark matter from a fringe theory into a central problem of modern cosmology. Further evidence poured in from all corners of astrophysics. Studies of the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, revealed patterns that could only be explained if dark matter was a key ingredient in the early universe. The way light from distant galaxies is bent by gravity, a phenomenon called gravitational lensing, also confirmed the existence of massive, invisible clumps of matter. The whispers had become a roar. The universe was screaming that most of its matter was missing. With the existence of dark matter firmly established, the next great challenge was to figure out what it was made of. For a long time, the leading contender was an elegant theoretical idea known as supersymmetry, or SUSY. This theory proposed a beautiful symmetry in nature, suggesting that for every fundamental particle we know, like electrons and quarks, there exists a heavier superpartner. The lightest of these hypothetical supersymmetric particles would be stable, electrically neutral, and would interact only weakly with normal matter. This made it a perfect candidate for dark matter. These particles were given a fitting acronym, WIMPs, which stands for Weakly Interacting Massive Particles. The WIMP hypothesis was incredibly appealing because it seemed to solve two major problems at once. It provided a candidate for dark matter while also extending the standard model of particle physics in a way that many physicists found deeply satisfying. The theory predicted that WIMPs would have been produced in just the right abundance in the hot, dense conditions of the early universe to account for the dark matter we observe today. This coincidence was so compelling that it was dubbed the WIMP miracle. For decades, the search for dark matter became synonymous with the search for WIMPs, launching a worldwide effort to detect these elusive particles. Physicists built incredibly sensitive detectors deep underground, shielded from cosmic rays, hoping to catch the faint signal of a WIMP bouncing off an atomic nucleus. Experiments with names like DAMA, Cosine 100, and Lux Zeppelin were designed to listen for these rare, gentle taps. Simultaneously, giant particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, were smashing protons together at nearly the speed of light, trying to create WIMPs and other supersymmetric particles in the lab. The hope was that we were on the verge of a historic discovery that would confirm supersymmetry and finally reveal the identity of dark matter. The entire physics community held its breath, waiting for the signal to emerge from the noise. But as the years turned into decades, the silence from these experiments became deafening. The underground detectors found nothing conclusive. The LHC, despite its incredible success in discovering the Higgs boson, has so far failed to produce any evidence for supersymmetry or WIMPs. The WIMP miracle started to look less like a miracle and more like a coincidence. While the possibility of WIMPs hasn't been completely ruled out, the lack of evidence has forced scientists to look elsewhere. The beautiful, simple picture of WIMPs has started to fade, pushing cosmologists to explore more exotic and revolutionary ideas about where dark matter might have come from. As the trail for WIMPs grew cold, a bold new idea emerged in 2023 that, honestly, challenges our most basic assumptions about the birth of the universe. Proposed by physicists Catherine Fries and Martin Winkler, this theory is called the Dark Big Bang. It suggests that dark matter was not created alongside ordinary matter in the initial, fiery explosion we call the Big Bang. Instead, it posits that dark matter originated from its own, separate cataclysmic event that happened a short time after the main Big Bang. This idea fundamentally rewrites the opening chapter of the cosmic story, suggesting that our universe had a dual origin. The Dark Big Bang theory imagines that in the universe's earliest moments, there were two distinct sectors that coexisted but barely interacted. One was the visible sector, filled with the particles and forces we know and love, the stuff that would eventually cool down to form stars, planets, and people. The other was a hidden dark sector, populated by a completely different set of particles with its own unique physical laws. This dark sector was initially in a super-cooled, high-energy state, then, at some point after the main Big Bang, this dark sector underwent its own explosive phase transition, a dark Big Bang, which created a hot thermal bath of dark matter particles. This concept of a separate origin has profound implications. It frees dark matter from the constraints imposed by the WIMP model. The particles created in the dark Big Bang don't have to interact weakly with our matter. They could interact with it even less, or perhaps not at all, except through gravity. 
This would explain why our most sensitive detectors have failed to find them. Furthermore, the theory allows for a much wider range of possible masses for dark matter particles, from incredibly light to astonishingly heavy. It opens up a vast new landscape of possibilities for what dark matter could be, moving beyond the narrow confines of the old WIMP paradigm. In essence, this theory suggests that our universe experienced two bangs, the first created the universe we see, and the second populated it with the invisible matter that holds it all together. This isn't just a minor tweak to the standard cosmological model, it's a radical reimagining of cosmic history. It paints a picture of a universe that is richer and more complex than we ever imagined, with a hidden side that evolved according to its own rules. The Dark Big Bang offers a fresh and exciting path forward, providing new, testable predictions that could finally lead us to the true nature of this cosmic ghost. One of the most exciting aspects of the Dark Big Bang theory is that it isn't just a fascinating story. It makes a concrete, testable prediction. The theory suggests that the explosive phase transition that created dark matter would have been so violent that it would have shaken the very fabric of space-time, sending out ripples known as gravitational waves. These waves would be a unique cosmic echo of the Dark Big Bang, carrying information about the moment the dark sector was born. Crucially, these gravitational waves would have a different frequency and character from those produced by more familiar cosmic events, like the mergers of black holes and neutron stars. Detecting these specific gravitational waves would be the smoking gun for the dark Big Bang, but they are incredibly faint and have been traveling across the universe for nearly 13.8 billion years. To find them, we need special instruments. Our current gravitational wave observatories, like LIGO, are designed to detect high-frequency waves from recent violent events. The waves from the Dark Big Bang, however, would be at a much lower frequency. Fortunately, we are developing a new way to listen for these low-frequency cosmic hums using pulsar timing arrays, or PTAs. These projects use a network of pulsars, ultra-dense, rapidly spinning stars that act as incredibly precise cosmic clocks, to detect tiny distortions in space-time. Amazingly, recent observations have already given us a tantalizing hint that we might be on the right track. In 2023, the NanoGrav collaboration, which is part of the International Pulsar Timing Array, announced the detection of a persistent, low-frequency background of gravitational waves humming throughout the universe. While the source of this signal is still uncertain, it could be from the mergers of supermassive black holes. It's exactly the kind of signal that the Dark Big Bang Theory predicts. Researchers like Cosmin Elia and Richard Casey have already begun to show that certain versions of the Dark Big Bang model produce a gravitational wave signature that is consistent with what Nanograv has observed. This potential connection has injected a huge amount of excitement into the field. The next generation of observatories like the Square Kilometer Array, or SKA, set to begin operations in the coming years, will be even more sensitive to these low-frequency gravitational waves. The SKA will act like a galactic-sized ear, listening with unprecedented precision for the faint echoes of the early universe. If we can confirm that the signal Nanograv detected truly comes from a dark Big Bang, it would be a monumental discovery. It would not only prove the existence of a separate dark sector, but also open a new window onto the universe's first moments. Unraveling the mystery of dark matter is about more than just identifying a new particle. It's about understanding the complete history of the cosmos, from its first fiery moments to the formation of the galaxies and stars we see today. If the dark Big Bang theory is correct, it means our universe is not the product of a single, unified origin event. Instead, it suggests a more complex and segregated beginning, where the rules that govern the visible world are separate from the rules that govern the dark. This realization would fundamentally change our place in the cosmos, revealing that the universe we experience is just one of two parallel realities, linked only by the universal force of gravity. This new perspective forces us to ask an even deeper question, what existed before the Big Bang? The standard model of cosmology hits a wall at the moment of the Big Bang, a point of infinite density and temperature known as a singularity, where our current laws of physics break down. But the dark Big Bang offers a potential loophole. If the dark sector existed alongside our own in some primordial state before the main Big Bang, and then underwent its own phase transition after, it might carry information from that pre-Big Bang era. The gravitational waves from the dark Big Bang could be a message in a bottle, 
carrying clues from a time before time as we know it. By studying these echoes, we could potentially probe the physics of that primordial epoch. The properties of the dark matter particles and the nature of their creation event could tell us about the conditions that prevailed before our universe burst into existence. It's a breathtaking possibility. The key to understanding what came before the beginning might be locked away in the very substance that makes up the majority of our universe, a substance we have, until now, been unable to see. The search for dark matter becomes a form of cosmic archaeology, digging into the very foundations of space-time to uncover the secrets of creation. Ultimately, the quest to understand dark matter is a quest to understand our own origins. It connects the smallest scales of particle physics with the largest scales of cosmology. Every galaxy spinning in the night sky is a testament to this invisible matter's influence. Whether it's wimps, particles from a dark Big Bang, or something else entirely, its discovery will undoubtedly trigger a revolution in science, comparable to the discoveries of quantum mechanics and relativity. It will complete our inventory of the universe and provide the final, crucial chapter in the story of how everything came to be, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge ever closer to the ultimate beginning.